They don't like it in the store when you just... They really don't. Whoa, that's got some chunk. Look at the chunk on that. Look at the pieces. Look at the pieces right there. We just vacuumed in here. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Cut it out. We just vacuumed in here. Not anymore. This is from Ryan Butler, Titan. Then in the distance, do you hear that? I hear it. Could it be? It must be Ryan Butler. Cheers, you magnificent bastards. Now, this is a Texas distillery. Okay. I do know that they make their own whiskey. What are they called? Rio Brazos. Rio Brazos. Um, but I don't know if this is actually only Texan. Okay. Uh, it's got that home, it says Texas whiskey, but we've got plenty of distilleries in Texas that put Texas whiskey on the bottle and aren't Texan. Yeah. And it has that hallmark produced and hand bottled by. Okay. And I know they have other products that they've definitely made. Right. And they're aging in smaller barrels. Mm -hmm. um, there were words on this one that it was a, that barrels were chosen specifically and then married into 53 gallons. So it could be that they are got their own stuff right. and then they're taking it from small barrels and putting it in big barrels to right. slow it down a little. Yeah. But I don't actually know. Okay. So here we go. I also don't know, in theory, this is a really high corn, I, like 90% corn. It's a, just a sweet ethanol on the nose from Yeah. The first front leading sweet Wow, ethanol. I would have called that Canadian. Yeah, the sweet ethanol, it, that sweetness is leaning in that vanilla direction, but we just did a whiskey, like the one directly before this, that was more of that Canadian villa, that, that, um, that almost that frosting, that icing. Mm -hmm. Uh, this has a little bit of that, but this is a little bit less clearly vanilla and more of just sweetness presented with the ethanol, but it's got a bit of vanilla in there. These are barrels they say they purchased, but I don't know where from, but man, it is really sharp, candied, corned, ethanol, everything you said. Yeah, definitely candy sweetness. It's mm. uh, the sugariness, the dessertiness, not fruity, not floral. Man, I would, I would have bet money that this was Canadian. This. Stay so close to the last wow. thing we've tried, it's hold almost on, identical. No, hold on though. What, this is a bit of a flip of reverse for me. There's because, a dryness? Well, no, no, no. The nose was so much fainter mm -hmm. with that vanilla character. The taste though, yeah, way more intensely rich candy corn mm -hmm. and caramel and vanilla. Just sweet candy flavors all melted together. Yeah. Candy corn, vanilla, caramel. And then it does have a bit of bitiness, like the ethanol You show, shows up. It's not going to be super high proof. What are we at? 45%. This is like if you got one of those like caramel waffle cakes, throat waffles. What? Like what? Tea, tea. They look like waffle. What do you call it? A throat waffle. That's da they're Dutch. What is it's, it? It's a throat uh, waffle. A throat waffle? That, but they're, they, you get them like World Market and things like okay. that. They're a little caramel. They have um, ca melted caramel in between two waffle layers mm -hmm. that look like a like a waffle cone. This? And uh, if you take that and put a candy corn on top. Yeah. And that caramel waffle, uh, like a- uh, It really is. Yeah, like an ice cream cone waffle. Yes, so desserty. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you like those flavors, that gives a really thick presentation of those flavors. Mm. I wish the ethanol wasn't so- On the nose. Yeah, on the nose and also on the taste. This is hitting a little bit hotter than it should be at 45%. Yep. Yeah. I agree. But those are very popular flavors. Yeah. I'm not really a dessert guy, but Again, the people that like the caramel, vanilla, waffle type of desserty stuff. That's playing in the TX Blended territory. It really is. TX Blended, um, we have compared it to like uh, 
Like if you made Way vanilla, more if you made vanilla ice cream into, into a, whiskey. a whiskey, yeah, that's absolutely. TX blended, which is sells like crazy to it my does. point. This uh, wheelhouse of flavors is very popular, but I, yeah, my preferences lie elsewhere. Again, I think I could recommend this very strongly to people who like these flavors. If it wasn't for that 45% being a little bit hotter than what it should be at that mm -hmm. low of a proof. I agree. Fair enough? Fair enough. All right, I'm gonna let it breathe for a minute. Uh, let's do the Silence 777. Am I the only one that gets stressed during their single breath intros? <laughs> yeah. I get stressed too, man. Yeah. No, do, do you ever watch a movie where someone has to hold their breath and yeah. you find yourself holding your breath? <laughs> you only breath too, yeah. Yeah. Like, Oh God, yeah, yeah. oh God, breathe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I find myself short of breath as well. Now I need a drink. <laughs> yes. yeah. It's an elaborate ruse to get people to drink harder. <laughs> uh, Medhead964, now that Emma's leaving, who will be changing all the bottles to Lefroig moving forward? No one. What? Wait a minute. Did she do She must have done this on one Friday. One last time. Damn it. Look, it's Monday. We just now got to this. You know what would be true commitment to the bit? She woke up at 4.30 every morning, drove here, yeah. switched the bottle, drove back to Waco. To go to work? Yeah. <laughs> that would be very funny. Uh, situationally, it could be good. You know what? Here's the thing, though. These flavor set. Mm -hmm. This is often a flavor set that people are putting on the rocks and putting in Coke. And in those situations... Perfect. The alcohol hotness... It's going to be absorbed. It's going to be absorbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. For what it is, not bad for my preferences. I'm reaching for other stuff, most likely. You can say words too. This isn't. I agree. I mean, did I scare you with my authority? No, I just. I know uh, it's, in, it's, in, it's intimidating. I need the target to be bigger. <laughs> just lean. Look, man, you catch a card in the dick tip and you still do this job. It's a hardship. <laughs> it's a hardship. Double entendre. Here's the bag stealing and drinking. <laughs> <laughs> if you fight me, I'm fighting for a friend. You steal and you steal your liver. And if you drink, May you drink with us. us.